This video is about the side effects of statins and how clinical pharmacists can manage side effects. In this video, we will have two example case studies to help you understand how, as a clinical pharmacist, you can manage side effects of statins. Just to quickly recap on statins. So statins are the medications that reduce cholesterol levels in the body. They work by reducing the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. Statins are available as etorvastatin, rosuvastatin, pravastatin and simvastatin. So if you look at the first case study, there is a 56-year-old male needs to be started on statins from primary prevention. Primary prevention is preventing any cardiovascular diseases before they have happened. So a patient or a person needs to be started on primary prevention because of their risk factors, for example, family history of premature coronary heart diseases or other factors. Patient may have they smoke or they have got hypertension. So there are a number of risks that needs to be looked to add before a patient can be started on a primary prevention. If you want to have more understanding of who is eligible for primary prevention, the guidance is available on NICE guidance. What are the risk factors for primary prevention? So the person past medical history include hypertension and gout. The medication they take is amlodipine and allopurinol. They do not take any over-the-counter medications or any other medications. Sometimes they use this paracetamol and they have got no known drug allergies. The question is now which first line lipid modification therapy you should be offering for primary prevention of cardiovascular diseases. So in this scenario you will offer a high intensity statin treatment unless it's contraindicated in the patient and you can check the contraindications of statins from BNF or SPC of the medications. For primary prevention we would offer a torvastatin 20 mg. It's the first line in NICE guidance. Different countries would have different guidelines and according to their cost effectiveness, they might offer a different type of statin as the first line. In United Kingdom, we use NICE guidelines uh, where we offer torvastatin 20 mg as the first line in the primary prevention of cardiovascular diseases. So you would offer torvastatin, it would be a shared decision making if the person is willing to accept a statin and also before you start a statin you would have to have a baseline liver function test and baseline serum cholesterol levels for the patient. On the previous slide we said that high intensity statin. Just to give you a quick glance on how statins are grouped in United Kingdom. So they are grouped as low intensity, medium and high intensity based on the reduction in low density LDL levels. So if you look at the table, this table is also given in the BNF. This table also tells you the type of statins, percentage reduction of LDL, if you would offer one statin and if you want to change from one statin to another statin, how would you do the dose adjustments? For example, one statin is not tolerated by the patient. For example, dorvastatin, if it's not tolerated by the patient and you wanted to give rosuvastatin, then this table tells you that rosuvastatin 10 mg is equivalent to dorvastatin 20 mg. It gives you roughly the similar reduction in low density lipoprotein cholesterol levels. Coming to the second case study, now in this case study we would look at the same patient profile, 56 year old male needs to be commenced on a statin for secondary prevention and secondary prevention is where cardiovascular incident has already happened. For example, in this patient they had myocardial infection also known as heart attack two weeks ago. So this patient have also got the similar past medical history, they've got hypertension and they've got gout, their medications include emlogypine 5 milligram and allopurinol 300 milligram. The patient have no known drug allergies and they do not buy any over-the-counter medications or any other medications. So in this scenario, the question is, which first-line lipid modification therapy is recommended for the secondary prevention? Again, you would use a high-intensity statin treatment unless this is contraindicated. For example, statins are contraindicated in pregnancy or someone who has got deranged liver function. Again, uh, the contraindications could be seen in BNF or SPC of the medications. You would offer, for in secondary prevention, you would offer high dose of a statin. For example, you would start with a torvastatin 80 mg once a day. However, you can start a lower dose if there are drug interactions or there is an increased risk of side effects or the patient requests that they might want to start on a lower dose to cope with the side effects first and then they wanted to move on to the higher dose. Otherwise, you would start a torvastatin 80 mg once a day. 
Now, counselling on statins is very important. To look at the common side effects of statins, what my other video, which is called the statin side effects. When you prescribe statins, it is very important to counsel the patient on lifestyle changes. For example, you need to counsel the patient on healthy eating, minimum recommended physical activity they could do in their capacity. If they smoke, then you need to offer them stop smoking and how to stop smoking and how to go on about it. And if they, uh, you need to look at the BMI MI of the patient and you need to offer them the advice on weight management. So cholesterol level comes hand in hand with all the lifestyle changes. So it's very important as a pharmacist to counsel the patient on the lifestyle changes. When the patient is started on a statin, as I said in the previous video, before you start a patient on statin, you need to have a baseline liver function test and cholesterol levels. You would follow up a patient in two to three months time. Liver function needs to be repeated just to make sure that statins are not affecting liver function test. And you would repeat the serum cholesterol levels just to make sure that the cholesterol levels are responding to the statins which is prescribed to the patient. First follow up is very important. And once everything is okay in the first follow up, then and cholesterol levels and liver function needs to be repeated every year after that. At the management of the side effects, say your patient come back and complain of the muscle pains or the joint pain or unusual fatigue or tightness. In that scenario, again, you need to assess like how severe the pains are. Is it disturbing the patient's normal life and routine? You would look at the severity and if the patient is willing to take statins. In this scenario, you would have to then stop the statins. You can either ask the patient to stop the statin if they're 100% sure that it's the statin that have caused them and see the response for a week or alternatively offer them an alternative statin because there are studies that suggest that if one statin is not tolerated the other statin would have been better tolerated. If the muscle side effects are serious you can also order a creatine kinase test which could then shows that is there a myopathy or there is muscle damage ongoing. In terms of the GI side effects some of the patients might come back and complain constipation, diarrhea or flutter or tummy pain. These are again uh, common side effects with statins. Not all of the patients experience these side effects but if someone comes back and complain that since started on a statin they are having constipation which is not tolerable, which is not manageable or diarrhea or tummy pain, again, you need to have a chat with the patient. Is that something that could be managed? For example, can constipation be managed by increasing fluid intake or eating high fiber diet or lifestyle changes? And if not, then again, you might have to have a conversation with your patient to stop it or a statin and offer them an alternative statin to trial with and then take it from there. Every time you stop a statin and start another statin, again, you need to make sure that you have baseline cholesterol levels and liver function tests. And again, the test needs to be repeated in three months time just to make sure that liver function is fine and serum cholesterol levels are responding to the alternative statin. So the statin management of side effects basically depends on the severity of the side effects, what patient is experiencing. Some patients might come back and say that they've got memory loss or they are feeling foggy, they are unable to remember things. If it's affecting their everyday life, then again, you might have to consider an alternative statins. I would say at least try three different types of statins if it's not tolerated, then you can move on to the other classes of lipid-lowering medications. Thank you very much for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you've got any questions, please ask. Hope you find this video helpful.